Hi, this is Debbie Hodge with Get It Scrapped, and I want to show you how my new class, Story Coach, works. Story Coach is about not only helping you find the stories of your life, but writing them skillfully, too. So if you go to, once you've purchased the class, anytime you want to access it, you'll come to the Get It Scrapped homepage, click on Classes from the menu bar, and then you'll have to log in over here in the classroom. Once you log in, you'll see the classes that you own are bolded. See, these two are pale. I don't own those with these accounts. But here we go. There, here's the very first Story Coach class. It's called Play Changes. And the prompts and the topic here is for you to write a story about how the things you do for fun have changed over the years. There's a couple of stories I want to write on this. One of them is, I used to read a lot of novels and now I watch a lot of TV series via Netflix or Amazon. I'll dig into a, a TV series and just watch it straight through, like Parenthood or Brothers and Sisters. Uh, or old old ones like West Wing. Anyways, that's my passion right now. And the other thing that I wanted to write about was I used to do a lot of puzzles with a, a, a puzzle book and pencil, and nowadays I use apps with board games. So I'm going to start the notes for the first story that I want to write. So I'll click on Start New Notes, and there are prompts here that get me through telling this story. So I need a way to identify it later. So I'm just going to call this TV and Novels. And now I'm going to write about what I like doing in my free time right now. I love watching TV series, old and new. And so I'll write about that and I'll move on and also talk about how this connects to my old interest of I used to read a lot of novels. And both of those have to do with story. Stories everywhere. There's many more details for me to answer in here and also a place to keep title ideas, photo ideas, and other things about design if I'm making a scrapbook page out of this. You may be just writing this to put in a journal or just to have, like a memoir. You should, this is the, you're working on a computer, you're working online, so save your story notes every once in a while. After you save them, you'll actually be able to go back in and write down here, find them and edit them later on. So I can go back in here and I can make any changes. You can see I've filled this in more now. I've elaborated on it, got other things. I could add a little bit more here. So you can just keep updating your library of stories on this topic. If you'd rather go old school, you can write things out with a pencil and a paper. And there are principles that go right along with this. So you could print out all these prompts right here. Same prompts that I was just answering online. You can print right out and answer them with pen and paper. Step two in the process is to write the story, to use those notes as the raw material, but you're going to shape a really well-written, a well-paced, a well-constructed story from them. On my story page here, I've got notes in now for two things, one about the TV shows and novels, another one about how I like to do puzzles and board games. So um, those are my notes. I can go in and edit those anytime I can add another story on the topic. Down here, write the story. Let me show you how this is going to work now. TV shows and novels. Now I can get a step-by-step -step guide for writing my TV shows and novels journaling. So I'm shown, write step one. I'm told to, in this paragraph, I'm going to write one paragraph. It's going to start with something like last week I, or yesterday I, or the other month I, and I've got an example. So I wrote, last week I watched all of season five of the television series Mad Men, and the month before that. So I go through, and I tell you down here, notice how the journaling has a specific time, it has a specific activity and a quantity, and then you're going to end with a sentence that says, doing XYZ is a favorite entertainment for me. I wrote, watching episodes back to back of a TV series is a favorite way of mine to relax. So you've got specific, write this, you've got an example, and then over here, whatever notes you put in will show up over here, the, the appropriate ones. So these are some notes I typed in for raw materials. So that's the first paragraph. Now I can come down to the second paragraph. And at this point, I'm going to tell about how my interest in this hobby developed. And the instructions say, in paragraph one, tell of one specific incident early on in your play. Paragraph two, you're then going to move on to how things have proceeded in general. And I show you an example, and I tell you about the first TV series I watched on Netflix. And then I talked about how things have moved on, how I got hooked. Over here, there are notes from a couple different prompts. There was a question that asked me to share details, and there's my details of that. There was a question that asked me what equipment or supplies did I need. And that's there. So I've got 
instructions for these two paragraphs, an example, and the notes that I wrote. So that's how it's going to work and you can see there's I think seven steps to this story. Each story will be different, it'll have different prompts, and it'll have a different way to structure it. But I'm basically walking you through getting a story that has a really nice ebb and flow, a back and forth, that moves between narrative and scene. I've also got the ideas down here for title, photo, and other ideas. So there's that in seven steps. You can pop them open. And now something really cool that you can do is, if you're on a desktop or a laptop, you can print from here, or you can put it in a PDF. So here we go, story coach number one, how my play has changed, the instructions about the story, and now we work through. Remember step one was here's what you're supposed to write, and then here's an example, and then here are the notes from it. So you can have all of that in a PDF. And this little editor actually lets you, if there's some stuff you want to remove, like I can delete that before I print it. And then you could print that. You can save that to your hard drive and you can print it. This doesn't work on tablets but everything else works on tablets. The other thing is if you're on a tablet, you're probably just going to view these notes on your tablet screen and then use your word processor or your pencil and paper as you read the guide on your tablet screen. So what if you went old school? What if you don't want to use this whole technology method for doing Story Coach? Well, you've still got over here your printables once you've gotten those prompts in, you've got the same kind of instructions done a little bit differently. So here it was, paragraph one, introduce your current favorite play, start with last week I, end with doing ABC. Here's the example. And now here's a box for you to start writing in with your pencil. And it tells you <clears throat> that note A would be helpful for this. So you'd look back through your notes that you made that are labeled. You go back here to the answer for question A. When it came to the next one where you're telling about how it developed, I've got what you should write, an example. And then over here, go and pull from your notes C and D. So you look back through your notes C and D. So that's how Story Coach works. Every couple weeks, I'll have a new story for you with new prompts and especially the, the guided way to write the story. So thanks for taking the time to look at this demo of Story Coach. I'm hoping that we see you in class.